Hey, this is Jan, and this is day 70 of 100 Days of Making Comics. I am trying to find half an hour to an hour a day, every day, to make my own personal comic book project. And so far, I think I'm doing okay, even though I'm running out of space in the house. What not to do if you're about to vacate a premises and you're eager to get your deposit back. Yes. Um, I am, today I'm drawing a lot of faces, I'm drawing a lot of characters, I'm having some fun with inking, uh, I'm trying to nail some, I'm trying to nail hair, and I'm trying to get better at it, and the only way to do it is to draw lots, and I'm hoping um, what little exercise I have today drawing will translate into, onto my page, which is going to be next. I'm trying to get started early this morning. With a little drawing but getting ready for the move I mean I can't find my favorite pencil this one will do just fine all right <clears throat> Mike is loaded let's go check in on space cat and 240 I freaked out twice. I set a timer and twice I hit uh, five minutes and I was like, what? So this is probably about 15 to 20. But looks like him. I like the result. There's a lot to every, every drawing is a learning experience. And there's definitely stuff here. Like, ah, uh, should have kind of left that out. Um, but the hair came, like, I like the hair. It's not perfect. Like, I don't know how to get that texture here. But that's another thing to learn. But, like, I was pretty quick about it, you know? I'm just pulling uh, pictures up from friends on Facebook, whatever is on my timeline. You know, five minutes. That's it. I've mentioned the channel before. Um, so, ooh, secrets. Mike just answered one of my questions about um, something he made up, brought up in a, made up. He makes up everything. <laughs> something he brought up in a, a, an earlier video from like last week or so about character arcs. And the main gist of his answer was that characters have to have a purpose and a need to be in the story. If not, if the story can do without them, cut them. So I'll post a link uh, below to his video so you can watch uh, for himself. Uh, he's one of the, the 100s making his own comic book story. Um, I'm very worried now about my characters because I got so many of them. But then I realized cannon fodder. Yes, they are all cannon fodder at the end. So that takes care of that problem. quite the five minute sketches I wanted these turn more into like 15 to 20 minutes um, but <clears throat> overall um, nice drawings likeness is kind of there um, I like this working with a thick brush and then going in with some finer detail um, this one really came alive with the finer detail especially the hair um, I wish I could add some white lines in there but so I need to define a little bit more um, what one of these background characters look like. So I thought I'd just make a quick little sketch 
ink it. Not quite happy with how it comes out or came out, but it's the first one, so I guess we're just gonna have to keep going and getting these uh, characters pinned down before tightening up the pencils. Shit, my friend is here. Okay. I don't believe the eyes are here. This one needs to move. I think this one might be a little too fat, but I like the face. It would definitely differentiate him a little bit more from the guy with the beard. Um, drawing characters sideways I always kind of outline the face or the shapes if I can get them in the right position um, and then I shorten them so I, I put the um, I basically draw the face again but then I cut it off at certain points and I shorten where it should be and that kind of does the trick it's kind of my hack for rotating I just have to draw that see this is again like taking me away from drawing the actual page like to draw something of like a bible if you will of all the characters with expressions and from set angles you know it might actually do me a favor rather than just because there's an awful lot of making stuff up as i go along just to save on time what to do so this is where I left off. Quite like this one, it's almost as if the first one was the best one. Um, but then, I made him a little older, a little meaner. I, I quite like this face, but I'm not I'm more fond of that one. A little softer, this is closer to what I imagined. Um, so I wanted to draw the, the guy who goes outside and finds the wanderer. I have a sketch in my sketchbook but I thought I'd have another go. And everything that kind of came out of that first 20 minutes was all very Gimli and Dwarven-like, which is not bad. But here I tried to bring it back a little bit, play with different shapes, noses. These are all very, these are basically the same guy. And then this one, because he was so harsh, I thought I'd have another go softening him up a bit. Uh, playing around with hair like I did over here So two old big guys He's the, the tough guy the muscle more of the thinker um, Quickly drew my hand from from the mirror So this is where I started messing around with the hair really and the beard and I because I quite like that, but it wasn't what I imagined which is why I went back to this but like I think these are very usable. And so ends day 70. Lots of drawings, lots more to do. Tomorrow I have to get out early. There's the London Marathon. So, um, so this is Jan signing off. I'll see you guys tomorrow on day 71 of 100 Days of Making Comics, in which we find half an hour to an hour every day to work on our own personal comic book projects. If you like what I what you see here, keep in mind there's lots more of us. You can see us all in the links below or check out everyone at once on Facebook under the 100s.